Hi guys, my name is Gina Cofano. I'm super excited. We have a sexy arm workout for you today. We're gonna focus on upper body movements. I can't wait. What's up, athletes? Let's get started in this warm up. We're gonna get that body moving, getting those muscles warmed up. We're gonna bring it to jumping jacks. I wanna see those fingertips touch all the way overhead. And if you can get those pinkies to touch behind your back, that'd be just lovely. Get that heart rate up, focus on your breath, and loosen up your joints. I want you guys thinking about positive thoughts, getting that blood pumping, getting excited for our sexy arm strength workout today. We just got a couple more jacks and we're gonna bring it into some mobility work. Hold on for three, two. Nice job, you guys. Let's bring it into down dog. So I want you to press all those fingertips into the floor, pedal out those feet and give me a touch to your toe and then back to down dog. Really lengthening those arms, finding that exhale and that inhale. Letting everything go. Keep your head focused in this workout and let this time be for you and only for you. One more deep breath. Nice job. Exhale. Let's stand up straight. Let's get those arms warmed up, right? Because this is what we're doing. We're getting some sexy arms today. So super big forward arm circles. Get as dramatic as possible in this if you can. Really take a notice of how your body feels. Does it feel tight? Does one arm feel a little bit more tense than the other? Really dramatic, big, big, big. Let's do one more big together. Deep breath in, nice job, and let's reverse it. We're bringing it all the way back, all the way forward. Starting to get warmed up. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are too. Couple more seconds and we're gonna get this party started. Nice work, you guys. Athletes, let's get two more really good circles. All the way up. Nice work, one more together. All right, I'm feeling warm. I hope you're feeling warm. Let's get started for our set one. We got two full rounds of some movements. They're gonna be 30 seconds on, okay? Not much rest in between. So when you're ready, we're gonna get started in three, two. All right, you guys, grab that band, and I want you to pull and engage those lats as you squeeze those shoulder blades all the way back and slowly control that negative in the front. Again, we're gonna pull it back all the way out. Beautiful, all the way in. Focus on keeping those elbows slightly bent. Nice, and try not to really lock out those elbows or bend them too much. It's like a perfect in-between. Giving yourself a nice, slow negative hug. Nice, good squeeze with those shoulder blades. I know, it's so hard, one more. And breathe, beautiful job you guys. All right, this one's a new one. Super excited for this one. We're gonna bring that resistance band over your back, find a good positioning, and we're gonna add some resistant push-ups. Feel free to use this without the resistance band if you like. Let's get started. Nice plank position. Three, two, and go. All the way down, slow control. Exhale on that push. As you push to full, feel that resistance on that back as you really isolate that chest muscle all the way down, all the way up. Take your time on top if you need to. If you wanna just hold a plank, that works as well. Just keep those butt squeeze, cores engaged. We got a couple more seconds. Whew, give me one more, you guys. Nice work, everybody, and relax. Beautiful, on to the next. We're gonna take that resistance band, Bring it underneath your left leg. And as you pull, I want you to think about keeping those hips nice and even. Core's engaged nice and strong. We're gonna lift, lift, lift that right arm up. Engaging that lat and exhale as you fully extend that right arm straight. Beautiful, and again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Full extension here, and then all the way contract.
Beautiful. Just a couple more. Really focus on that one side. You might also feel this in that right oblique, which is great. Getting some one-sided core. One more deep breath. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax. Awesome job, you guys. Just like before, we're just going to even out on the other side. Give me that single arm row. Find that resistance band as we squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fully relax. Beautiful form. Core is engaged. Butt is squeezing. Chest is up. Head is neutral. Nice job, you guys. Are we feeling it? My arms are on fire. Just a couple more. You got this, athletes. Let's do two. We could do two, right? Nice work. Let's do one more good one, and then we take a break, okay? One more. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. And relax. Awesome job, you guys. We got the best part. It's our 30-second rest. I want you recovering fully. You're breathing. You're exhaling everything out. Grab a sip of water. Roll those shoulders out. And come back to me for our repeat. All right, athletes, band pull apart. Squeezing those shoulder blades, keeping those elbows slightly bent. We're gonna get started in three, two. All right, you guys, grab that band, and I want you to pull and engage those lats as you squeeze those shoulder blades all the way back and slowly control that negative in the front. You got about 10 seconds left right here. Keep it up, core's engaged, butt squeezing, arms on fire. Give me three, two, and chill. Beautiful. On to resistance push-ups. Nice plank position. Three, two, and go. All the way down, slow control. Exhale on that push. As you push to full, feel that resistance on that back as you really isolate that chest muscle all the way down. Once you find your placement, I want you to find that really big push, control that negative down. Awesome work, you guys. Just got a couple more seconds here. Hold that plank if you need to. Three, two, and relax. Single arm row, beautiful. And again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Full extension here, and then all the way contract. We're focusing on that right side. Really take a note of how that right side feels as you squeeze and you fully extend. Nice job, you guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fully extend, hold on to it, hold on to it. We got one more good one together. Three, two, and relax. Even on the other side with that single arm row, as you squeeze, go hardcore here. Fully relax and engage that lat muscle. Focus on that core. Core's engaged, butt is squeezing, chest is up, head is neutral. You got this, you guys. Hold on to it. Give it everything you got. And chill. All right, athletes. We got our rest for 30 seconds. I want you to completely let go. Focus on your inhale and exhales and be proud of yourself for where you are in this moment. We got set two going up, super pumped. Shoulder presses. We got some pulses in and out with the shoulders. A nice seated row, squeezing those shoulder blades. A boat pose hold, crazy core, and then another quick rest bake. Let's get started. With the shoulder press overhead, I want you squeezing that glute super strong, feet hip distance apart, and raise the roof with those arms all the way up and then all the way down. Really focus on the control of the band and your tempo. You don't want to go too quick here because we're focusing on strength. 
Form is everything when we're trying to build some muscle. So find that exhale, find that breath, full extension on top, and then bending those elbows right even with those shoulders. Beautiful job, you guys. I don't know about you, but my shoulders are on fire. We got three more seconds left. Hold on to it, full press. Nice work, you guys. Let's hold those shoulders, elbows even with those shoulders, halfway point. We got our pulses in and out. We're going out for two, and then you're hugging it in for two. I know what you're thinking. If you need to, you just gotta close your eyes, find that exhale, and just give it everything you got. Out and in, out and in. Deep breath, core is engaged, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You got this, I know you can do it. You just gotta believe in yourself. Give me four, three, two. Oh my goodness, awesome job you guys. Roll those shoulders back and let's take a seat. I think we deserve it. As we take a seat, we're gonna bring that band over your toes. If you wanna make it more difficult, I would recommend crossing them or circle them around a little bit. As we fully extend our arms, you gotta make sure you're seated up 90 degrees. Try not to lean back. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades back, lats are engaged, and then full extension of those arms all the way out. Beautiful. Let's try it again. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. This time, tuck your belly button in, focus on your core as you squeeze your shoulder blades, and then again out. If you're looking in the mirror, you can notice if you're leaning back. So make sure that chest stays nice and hot. All the way back, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One more time. And relax. Beautiful job, you guys. Let's bring it to our boat pose hold. Let's grab the band overhead. We're gonna really focus on engaging that lower core. So tuck in that hip as you extend your feet forward. Find your exhale and then extend your arms. Holding that band overhead. This is all about the breath. Tuck that core in, squeeze, 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 and breathe, breathe, breathe. You got this, you guys. Hold on to it. Give it everything you got. Show me why you came to the app today. We got three, two, and relax. Awesome, awesome work. Let's bring it to the rest. I know you guys deserve it. Please grab a sip of water, stay hydrated, shake out that core, shake out those sexy arms. Awesome job, athletes. We got set to working on our shoulder press, our shoulder pulses in and out, a nice seated row, and some core boat pose. Let's get started. We got our shoulder press. We're going all the way up for 30 seconds, all the way down, just a couple reps. It's our second time through, so let's make it the most. Dig and breathe. You know the form, you've done it before, Nice work, you guys. Let's hold those shoulders, elbows even with those shoulders, halfway point. We got our pulses in and out. We're going out for two, and then you're hugging it in for two. That's it. We're going out and out and in and in. Kind of like we're dancing the beat. Out and out, beautiful, and in and in. Two more like that, dig, dig. Beautiful, breathe one more. Awesome work, relax. Let's bring it into our seated row. Give our shoulders a little bit of a break. Take a seat, grab that band, stay nice and tall, engage that core and pull, 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 pull. Squeeze those shoulder blades as far back as possible. Even when you don't think you could pull even more, I want you guys to pull, 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 pull. 
and find that full extension. Try to keep that core nice and engaged. Let's go for three more seconds, you guys. It's the last time you'll do this movement. Three, two, and relax. You guys are killing it. We got our last one of this round. End to the boat pose. Focus on that breath. Let's tuck that core in. Extend those feet first. Bring those arms overhead and just breathe. Try not to round through that back. If you're rounding, bring your feet to the floor. Squeeze that belly button in your spine. One more deep breath, you can do this. Hold on to it. Exhale, we did it. Round two is done. Let's bring it on to the rest break. I love it, but just make sure you're staying hydrated. Take a quick sip of water, and let's bring it on to set number three. This is it, we got this far, you guys. Let's dominate this workout. We're bringing it to a squat to press to finish. Bicep curls a reverse back fly, overhead tricep extension, and then we got our mobility work to finish. Are you with me, you guys? Are you with me? Okay, let's do it. We got our squat to press. Feet are hip distance apart. Make sure that that resistance band is even on both sides. As you bring those bands to shoulder height, I want you to get really low into that squat. Weights in the heels. Exhale, press those hips forward and raise those arms overhead. Beautiful, and then bring it back in a certain position. As you get low, really focus on those heels. Find that strength in your quads and in your core. Push those hips forward as you fully press up. Yes, this is a total body move, but again, I want you focusing on every single muscle using that exhale as you push. One more time together. Let's inhale even lower. Find that mobility. Exhale, press. Beautiful. Awesome job, you guys. Yes, my arms are on fire, but let's bring it into our bicep curl. We're going to keep that same hip distance, full arm extension here. Bring those arms all the way up to your shoulders for that curl and then all the way full extension down. Do not keep those elbows bent. All the way up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice job, all the way down. Now at this point, if you're like, my arms are on fire, Gina, I cannot keep going one more second, please just alternate. Anything you can do to just keep moving, that is amazing. You dig and breathe, one more time. Inhale up, big curl. Exhale, let it all go full arm extension, arm straight. Awesome job, you guys. Reverse back fly, we're gonna hinge at those hips. Try not to round that back. Keep that core really in tight. Chest is up, head is neutral, okay? We're gonna fly, 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 squeezing those shoulder blades behind you, and then control, kind of like you're hugging a tree on the bottom, right? So we're gonna squeeze, elbows are slightly bent, shoulder blades are squeezing behind us, and then we hug that tree all the way back, nice and slow and controlled, so the negative can do a lot of the work. One more time, big squeeze, hug it back, focus on that arm strength, and then control that negative. Awesome job, and we are making it to the last movement of the day. Okay, you guys, the hardest one I think for myself personally. We're gonna bring that tricep extension overhead. Now the biggest thing I want you to notice is if you're arching your back right here, try to tuck that hip in. Try to focus on your core as we fully extend those triceps straight. Beautiful, now take a look at your elbows. Are they hanging really out far? Try to hug them into your ears, kinda like you have headphones on. One more time, we're gonna extend those arms straight all the way up, 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 and then squeeze all the way, control that negative down, 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 abs engage. Woo, oh my goodness, I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for this rest break. Woo, take a seat, shake those arms out, stretch those shoulders, and let's bring it to our last repeat. Set number three, this is it. I need you to give it everything you got. It's the last time you do these movements. 
So let's make them the best. We got that squat to press. Get low, exhale, press up. You got this. Get low, get low, get low. Weights in the heels. Exhale, press it up. As you get low, really focus on those heels. Find that strength in your quads and in your core. Push those hips forward as you fully press up. One more time together, you guys. This is it. Give it everything you got. Dig and press. Beautiful. Killed it. Bicep curls. I know what you're thinking. We got to keep those arms straight. Curl it up all the way up top. Extend all the way. If you're like me, I'm feeling it. The burn is happening, but it feels so good. Whatever you got, hold on to it or alternate those arms if you need it. Just keep moving those arms, you guys. This isn't called sexy arms for nothing. <laughs> We got three, two, all right, you guys, on to the next one. We got reverse back fly. We are going to hinge forward, keeping that core nice and engaged. Squeeze those shoulder blades as you fully extend those arms out. And please control that negative as you come in. It's actually the power of this movement is from that negative. So as we control the strength down low, you will build most of that arm strength. Let's try two more together. Big squeeze, awesome form, and relax. One more good time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep that chest up, core's engaged, you're amazing. And relax. Awesome job, you guys. On to the last one. We got our overhead tricep extension. I'm ready for this, you guys. Keep your head in the game. We're going overhead. Elbows are nice and close to those ears like earmuffs. Full extension up, my core's engaged, I'm breathing like crazy as I control that negative back down to starting position. All the way up, all the way out. My arms are on fire. Oh my goodness, you guys, hold on to it. We got three more seconds. We could do three seconds. Yes, you can. Two, and relax. We are on the cool down portion my favorite portion, because it starts those muscles recovery, okay? We want to bring that parasympathetic nervous system. We want to turn it on. We're going to bring it into the down dog. Extend those arms. Pedal up those feet. And feel free to get really creative with this. If you want to move your hips side to side. With every movement, we're going to take a deep breath in. Nice exhale. Let's extend that right leg up, bending at that knee. We're going to bring it into wild thing as you extend your arm overhead. Take a look up. Feel that stretch in that right lat that we worked. Exhale and bring it down. Back to down dog. Pedal out those feet. Take a deep breath in. Left leg is going to fully extend up. As you bend your knee, plop your leg down. Reach that left arm up. Feel that beautiful stretch in your left lat. And all the way back to starting position. It's all about the breath, you guys. Bring it back. Deep inhale. And nice big exhale. My favorite one. Single pigeon on the right. Fully extend that right leg high. Swing that right leg through. Right heel is going to the left hip. Try to even out your hips and make sure this feels comfortable. If you want to, you could cross those forearms and bring that forehead to touch. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. Soak in your greatness. Deep breath out. Let's bring in our single pigeon on the left. We got our left leg up high. We're going to swing it through, left heel, right hip. Nice. Make sure you're feeling comfortable. Slowly fold. If it's comfy, bring your forehead to touch. Take a deep breath in. 
On your exhale, try to get even lower. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale and relax. Awesome job, you guys. Let's bring it into a down dog and slowly walk your toes into a forward fold. Grab for opposite elbows. We're releasing some stress off that lower back. We're giving that stretch on those shoulders as we fold and sway side to side. Whatever feels comfortable here, relax your spine. Take a deep breath in and one vertebrae at a time, let's slowly roll up. Taking a seat, we got a supine twist. Your right knee is gonna come in towards your chest. Give it a nice good squeeze. Nice, let's bring that right leg all the way to the left side of the room. Looking towards the right, feel that twist. We're detoxifying those organs, okay? We're turning on that parasympathetic nervous system. I wanna allow all your muscles to get the breath that it needs to hydrate and to heal. One more deep breath in, one more exhale, twist, twist, twist. Beautiful, let's bring it back to a neutral spine. Left leg's gonna come in, give yourself a big squeeze. Take that left leg all the way to the right side of the room. Look into the left, feel that nice twist. With every breath you breathe in, and when you exhale, try to get a little bit deeper if it's comfortable on the stretch. Soak it in, deep breath. Exhale all the way, relax. Awesome job, you guys. We did it. Thank you so much. I hope you work out with me again. Have a great one.